where we also have another learned individual, and that is uh, our ward master. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Willis, and uh, how is Kisumu? Good evening, Yusuf, and uh, I would say Kisumu is uh, fairly cool, but we also have, you know, we've been having uh, a warm weather almost throughout the day, as that now it's uh, fairly cool, but one great thing that I would tell you for free, you've had a wonderful show there since you began the Friday briefing, Yusuf. Of course, and we're looking forward to you, you know, teaching us some of the pronunciation of some very tricky words that we have for our viewers tonight. But first, yes. here is... Uh, sure. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. Word on the street there. Still have Willis, the word master, with me. Willis, actually, I'm not going even to try that word because it looks very complicated. But you, can you perhaps demystify that for us? Well, the word itself is a terminology and it refers to the use of seawater as health or beauty treatment. Mm -hmm. And uh, Yusuf, the word is tricky, but today those who were on the street or in the street really tried. In fact, the first lady got it right. The one who followed her also got it right. Mm -hmm. You say thalassotherapy, thalassotherapy. The thalassotherapy. problem is such long words. So what mm -hmm. we call, yes, thalassotherapy, such multisyllabic words can be tricky in pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you know, take it easy as you say the word. Mm -hmm. But remember, it is also important for those who are viewing KTN News to understand that, you know, it is a blend or a blending of the word thalassa, which is a Greek word for sea, mm -hmm. and the word therapy. So you say thalassotherapy. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks you, thank you, of course, Willis, for that. Yes. And the next word, uh, the meaning is uh, highly damaging. And uh, Willis, I'm sure you understand that there was the Gikomba market yesterday, uh, right in Nairobi. And a lot of reporters were saying, you know, it was devastating. Is it devastating or devastating? You say de, not de. Mm -hmm. Many people find themselves saying devastating, but you say devastating, mm -hmm. devastating fire. Okay, thank you for that. And uh, the next word, yes. this is the meaning, uh, showing very poor judgment. Is it injudicious? Yes, that is what you say. That is I-N-J-U-D-I-C-I-O-U-S. Yes. You say injudicious. That mm -hmm. is not wise, sensible, or appropriate in a particular situation. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Over to the next word. Let me spell it yes. for our viewers. It's P L A double T E R. Plata. Oh, yes. You say plata. Now, mm -hmm. what we should remember, anyway, in the first place, a plata is a large plate for serving food. And in most cases, uh, when we talk of the idiom on a silver plata, Many people, and Yusuf, you would bear me witness uh, mm -hmm. on this, you may hear many people saying on a silver plate, mm -hmm. the word is plata. Plata. To be given Sil something on a silver plata. Yes. Yeah, silver plata. I think I've heard that right. Now, over to our next word, which yes. means noisy and difficult to control, especially, you know, the young children who are very noisy and difficult to control. So what do you have to say about that? Is it obstreperous? Oh, uh, you're talking. <laughs> oh, you say obstreperous, obstreperous. Mm -hmm. You have the primary stress on the second syllable. Mm -hmm. Stre, obstreperous. It's yes. a very tricky word, Yusuf, mm -hmm. but it's manageable, obstreperous. Mm -hmm. Clearly it is manageable, thanks to you. Yes. Now, over to our next word, which uh, means uh, defeat uh, thoroughly, 
Is it Vankish? No, you uh -huh. pronounce you. You say Vanquish. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Over to Vanquish. our next you word. You pronounce you and I. Yes, over to our next word, uh, which reminds me of my agriculture class. For those who have done agriculture, that must be a long time ago, uh, Willis. <laughs> Uh, of food or drink which is yes, pleasant to taste. Is it palatable? Yes, that is the way to say it or mm -hmm. to pronounce that word. You say palatable. What you avoid is palatable. You don't rise. You say palatable. The stress is at the onset. That is at the beginning of that word. Mm -hmm. You and can you'll... talk of palatable uh -huh. food, palatable wine, but not palatable. Palatable you should avoid that. Palatable. Thanks to my agriculture teacher there, and of course, thanks to yes, Willis for confirming right. that for us. Yes. Now, over to the next uh, word, <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, spell it. It's S-W-E-D-E. -E. Oh, you are talking about a large, round, yellow root vegetable? Yes. You say swede, swede. Mm -hmm. What we should avoid is swede. Swed uh -huh. or Swede, no. You say Swede. Just mm -hmm. like we also say impede, not to impaired. Mm -hmm. And Yusuf, you must have heard many people talking of or pronouncing a word as milliped and centiped. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? Yes. Or such pronunciations? I've heard it a lot. They are inaccurate. Mm -hmm. Very common locally, but inaccurate. You say millipede, not milliped. Centipede, not centiped. I think more I'm one of those. Uh -huh. not impaired. Yeah. And swede, mm -hmm. not swed. Yes, Fantastic. and many people, Yusuf, not mm -hmm. just you mispronouncing such a word. And you know, as I always put it, the big problem that we have is in most education systems around the world, you'll find vocabulary and grammar given a lot of emphasis, but pronunciation has very little emphasis. So you can be well educated, but certain words would give you problems because you were never told the way to pronounce those words. And mm -hmm. some are just tricky because English is a target or a foreign language to many of us. Sure, and it's sweet, right? And uh, centipede yes. and millipede. Yes. Thank you for that. Now over to our next word, which yes, means yes, set of right. rooms for living in. I think this is a bit tricky and I'm sure most people get it wrong. Can you perhaps tell us the exact way of pronouncing it? Oh, you are talking about a maisonette. Yes. Maisonette, not mansonette. Mm -hmm. It's a maisonette. And that should be M-A-I-S-O-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Maisonette, not mansonette. Locally, very many people find themselves saying mansonet, which is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. So the word is pronounced maisonet. 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 Thank you. Maisonet. 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 I think I have it right now. And I'm sure you have yes, some more words way. for us. Yes, yes, uh -huh. you've got it right. <laughs> yes, we have the first feedback question coming from one Edgar Mambo of Mombasa. And Edgar, you say kleptomania not kleptomania. Kleptomania is a mental illness in which somebody finds himself or herself, you know, having that strong desire to steal things, you know, uncontrollable desire to steal things. You call it kleptomania, not kleptomania, and the person is a kleptomaniac. Now, we have Wambugu Samuel, you say hinges and binges. Jacob Zuma Utiende, Lion and Iron. Fred is Nyakundi, you say Viscount. Viscount, not Viscount. Ken Okech, you say comfortable. This is a tricky one, Yusuf, and our dear viewers. Many people say comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, and all that. You say ka, that is come, and then you have that consonant cluster. Ft, comfortable, and don't say come. Now, salmon, not salmon. Ken Okech, you say salmon. That L is silent, like salmon fish, not salmon fish. Then vegetable. Harin Yuguna of Udiru, Nairobi, you say sewing machine. Many people say sewing, 
but you say sewing, sewing machine. Mary, a winner of Siaya, counterfeit, like counterfeit goods, not counterfeit. Fate, no, counterfeit. Counterfeit goods, and you also say forfeit, to forfeit, not for fate. Those ones I know are tricky because what we hear regularly, that is locally, is counterfeit for fate. But you say forfeit and counterfeit. Now, Wakili Jack Omondi Bunde, you say issue or issue. Then nausea. Nausea. Don't say nausea. And this one reminds me about those who say auto. Auto, no. That is what you see. You say auto like when we talk about betting and all that, or automatic, not automatic. Automobile, not automobile. So, auto. Now, Ruth Sikini, retired teacher, and a wonderful teacher who I would just tell to always watch KTN the way she seemed to love KTN. Now, the way you seem to love KTN, Ruth Sikini, retired teacher, remember you say taught us, taught us. So it's on KTN that you get that now. Taught us, not tortoise. You also say paupers. Dennis wa Eastly. 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 A very tricky word there. In English, you say Eastly, but locally we just say Eastly. I'm going to Eastly, but it's Eastly. So Dennis wa Eastly, and Dama, you say reflect, not reflect. Reflect. Reflection and reflector. Then Peter Olesein of Narok, you say flower, flower, maize flower. Don't say maize flower. Maize flower, very common locally, but that is not accurate. You say flower for F-L-O-U-R, maize flower. Then Yusuf, we go straight now to the surprise word for tonight. We have the FIFA World Cup, and even locally, we hear a lot of captain. Captain for this word. You don't say tain. There is no glide, what we call a diphthong. Tain, no. You say captain. Captain. Just like you can see the transcription, what we call the phonetic transcription, which I've used here. This one shows you the stress, which is at the beginning. Captain. Just like you say chaplain, not chaplain. Porcelain, not porcelain. Plantain, not plantain. But... Get it from me that you say fountain, fountain, not fountain. Fountain, you also say mountain, mountain, not mountain or mountain. It's mountain with the weak sound eh. Then finally, from Kisumu, that is for tonight, and you'll forgive me to ensure that the earpiece is in the right place or order. So we have confusing words. F-A-C-E, you say face, face, with the unvoiced sound s, face. Then when we talk about P-H-A-S-E, don't say face. It's common. You hear face one, face two, face three, but you use the voiced sound z for letter S. So you say phase for P-H-A-S-E, but face, face for F-A-C-E. And that reminds me about one of the very, very, you know, high riding, in fact, great Kenyan sons who love Kiswahili language so much. That is Jeffrey Mungo, and I believe Jeffrey Mungo is with Radio Maisha, one of the toughest radio stations in this country. So Jeffrey Mungo, I know you also need something about voice and unvoiced sounds, which I'll handle for you next week. But for our dear viewers from Kisumu, we tell you that is all about what I had for you tonight. Thank you very much, uh, Willis, there for the English classes. There, of course, that is Willis, the word master, coming to us all the way from the Lexite city of Kisumu. And before we wrap up our show tonight, uh, we did ask you if you think the Gikomba market should be relocated, and uh, we're getting a lot of feedback here. Son of a teacher says, relocated, so who takes the current land? Or well, that's the reason the fire keeps coming. And then at Ronald says, there's something big behind the two fires. 
And then let me take some more here from Alphonse Mudui, who says, your humility is unprecedented. You are bound to scale greater heights. It's a part on your back. I think he's talking in reference to Dr. Muli's children's family there. At Gaduma says, no, instead, conclusive investigations should be carried out and those culpable uh, severely punished. And then uh, at Frank Oriente says, the gentleman who has read the piece about Loyangalani has really tried. He can make an anchor there. Of course, he was talking to our guest about our guest anchor, Festers. Uh, one of the beneficiaries from the uh, Dr. Muli's children's uh, family. And one final one at uh, Andy Dimak says, uh, to Yusuf Ibra, Usiwe Umelipwa, Nahawa Makatels. And this is not the first time to do this. Uh, non Katels just want to occupy the place. But Wacheni Wanyonge Waji Tafutie. Very interesting comment there from Andy Dimak. Many thanks for your feedback. Of course, this has been the Friday briefing right on KTN. My name is Yusuf Ibrahim. I've been sitting in for Betty Chalo. Many thanks for watching. Bye-bye and have a very good night.